regiment is raised two years after that in Sedan in 1738. We also have a distinguished gentleman right here who is very handy with that fire. I'm grateful for that as well. So we actually have two boats. They're named the Savannah and the Skidaway. We have small boats. We can still use lightweight cannons like these. These are called swivel guns. So you can load them, not with so much a solid cannonball, but many smaller shot. You can fire all once the sprays across the deck and work in a boarding action. Now, if you're on a small space of a boat, small cannon works. If I had a small pistol, I might be able to hit someone at that tree. But if you're on a small boat, and that also means there's a good chance that a sword like this comes in handy. Ooh. So if you were a distinguished gentleman, like uh, Mr. Pete right here, or if you were a humble soldier like me, it's very helpful to be able to fight with a blade. Now, if you're fighting with a sword like this, you want to be able to defend yourself in any direction. So I can block up high, I can block to this side or that side. I can also use this to slice. So I can cut one, cut two, I can also cut straight across three and four, I can also come from low up high. Five and six, I can also even come straight down. Now, I don't know if you have any of these creatures out there in Nebraska, but do you have any snakes out there in Nebraska? Do we have snakes? No. Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Well, we have lots of snakes here. Now, I have a very long, tall musket because this is still a smooth board smooth on the inside, my round musket ball is going to wobble going in, and it's going to wobble going out. But because I've got a longer barrel, instead of being able to hit someone standing at the tree, I can hit someone at about 70 yards. That's a lot farther with a big, tall musket like this. Now, do you see the crown? The letters GR. Those letters stand for Georgius Rex, King George. And so this is a musket stamped with the crown and the letters of my king. So in 1742, it's a great honor to fight for my king. Withdraw your bayonet! Fetch your bayonet! Pause your bayonet! Charge your bayonet, breast high! And now you march right at the enemy. Now if our to continue, we can next year get, get the command to push your bayonet. Let's all march right at him. Now this is a pretty heavy long musket. So notice I'm holding it like a pike. We got most of the weight at the crook on my left elbow. My right hand is at the back when we're pushing power. Because if I actually run someone through with this bayonet, how many sides does it have? Three. Three. three sides, that's exactly right. Because if you give someone a three-sided hole, it's very, very hard to cleanly sew up a three-sided hole. That's why this has three sides. So this is a poking weapon, as it were. Well, would you like to see the musket fired? Yep. Duck your fire luck! Freeze it! Fire! Open your arms! Half cock your fire luck! Come load! Now load quickly! A good soldier should be able to load and fire his musket three to four times a minute. 